This presentation is on physical examination skills and clinical diagnosis for the respiratory system. Before we begin the examination, let us review the different components which make up this system and how these function. The primary function of the respiratory system is gas exchange. Oxygen is taken into the bloodstream and carbon dioxide is eliminated. When assessing a patient for respiratory conditions, we need to bear in mind that it is more than just a pair of lungs. The respiratory tree starts from the nose and mouth and ends at the alveoli. The nasal passages are lined with mucous epithelium and hairs. Their purpose is to warm up the air which is inhaled, to moisten and to filter it. The nasopharynx, oropharynx and laryngopharynx is the cavity at the back of the mouth which extends from the back of the nose down to the larynx or voice box. Another function of the respiratory system is to facilitate in voice production. After the larynx, we find the first section of the tracheal ring structure known as the cricoid cartilage. The rest of the trachea descends anterior to the esophagus until it bifurcates into the left and right primary bronchus. Anteriorly, the division takes place behind the sternal angle. Posteriorly, the division takes place at the level of the fourth thoracic vertebra. The primary bronchi then pierce the parietal and visceral pleura to enter the left and right lungs. There are successive divisions of the bronchi until the respiratory bronchioles enter the alveoli sacs. The blood supply to the lungs is by the left and right pulmonary arteries and oxygenated blood is returned to the heart via the left and right pulmonary veins. In terms of nerve supply, the internal structures of the lungs are supplied by the parasympathetics from the vagus nerves and segmental sympathetic fibers. The pleural membranes and the intercostal muscles are supplied by segmental somatic efferent and afferent fibers from the thoracic region. The diaphragm is innervated by the phrenic nerve, which originates from C3, C4 and C5. It descends the neck, then through the mediastinum, to pierce the diaphragm to supply it from its inferior surface. Lymphatic drainage is divided into superficial and deep plexi. They empty into the bronchopulmonary lymph nodes next to the bifurcation of the trachea, then into the bronchomediastinal lymph trunks. The right lung and left lower lobe drain into the right supraclavicular fossa. The left upper lobe and the stomach drain into the left supraclavicular fossa.